Today I'm going to be sharing with you all that you need to know about whiteheads and inflamed acne, their causes, and I'm going to share some solutions and some products that will 100% work for your type of acne. and welcome back to Wish Trend TV. I'm Caroline and I'm back with another video of Wish Trend TV versus Acne. If you haven't seen our previous Wish Trend TV versus Acne video, you should definitely go check that out. It was about how to treat your acne scars and it was such a huge hit with you guys. You guys left so many comments about how informative it was, so you should really really check it out if you haven't seen it yet. So without further ado, let me introduce you guys today's theme and that is how to choose skincare products that work for your type of acne. Today I'm going to be sharing with you all that you need to know about whiteheads and inflamed acne, their causes, and I'm going to share some solutions and some products that will 100% work for your type of acne. And like always, we're going to be joined by our lovely how-to model, Yujin, as she continues her journey for clear, healthy, acne-free skin. Round 1 how do we treat our whiteheads? Whiteheads are the initial or beginning stages of acne. They look like small bumps on your face and they protrude like small grains of rice. If left untreated, the pores of your whiteheads can actually become inflamed and create more acne. And this in turn can lead to acne scarring. And there are two main causes as to why whiteheads form. Number one, your pores are blocked because of the accumulation of dead skin cells. Number two, when your skin is too dry, it secretes excess sebum. So all of these things accumulate under your pores and it cannot escape and that's when whiteheads start to form. The solution to getting rid of whiteheads is fairly simple. You just need to exfoliate your skin so your pores are cleared and number two, you need to hydrate your skin so it doesn't secrete excess sebum. Okay then, so let me introduce you guys products that 100% work to get rid of your whiteheads. Number one, to thoroughly exfoliate and clean your pores, you want to use a product that contains AHA ingredients and has an essence-like texture. This will help dissolve dead skin cells on top and in your skin. Also, the irritation is very, very low. Essence exfoliants with AHA in it help to promote cell turnover and soothe and prevent inflammatory acne. It peels off that outer gunky layer of your skin and leaves your skin feeling really soothed and soft. So that is one way to get rid of your whiteheads. Number two, to prevent your skin from excreting too much sebum, you want to make sure that it's moisturized and hydrated always. One great way to ensure that is if you use a tensile sheet mask. The tensile sheet mask fibers really adhere to your skin and it provides that full moisturization that your skin desperately needs. It'll restore the strength and hydration of your skin's outer barrier. Choosing such a mask will help to calm your skin because the tensile fiber is very, very low irritant. Use a moisture replenishing product with vitamin E in it and that has a silky texture to it. The moisturizer's silky finish helps to really fill and hydrate your skin. The vitamin E will also help with absorption and quick replenishing of your skin's hydration. Round 2. How to treat inflamed acne. If your whiteheads are left untreated, the pore of your whitehead can become hard and reddened. That means it's become inflamed acne. The possibility of acne scarring occurring at this point is extremely high, so what you need to do is treat it immediately. Antibacterial disinfectant and inflammation relief are very, very crucial at this point. Number one. For situations where your acne cannot be extracted. In the beginning stages of acne, it is crucial that you do not touch your acne with your fingers or hands. If you try to squeeze your acne at this point, it can actually cause secondary inflammation. So the best thing that you can do is actually calm your acne instead of trying to extract it. Try to use a product that has mugwort in it. Mugwort is known for its antibacterial and disinfectant properties. Think of it kind of like the tea tree oil of Korea. It has excellent detox properties and it calms and soothes your skin. It also lessens the redness of your skin and lessens the pain of your acne. 
Use a refreshing gel type mugwort product that will not only calm and cool your skin, but it also purify your skin as well. Try to use a refreshing gel type product that will not only calm and cool your skin, but it'll also get rid of your skin's roughness and toughness. Try to find one with a watery texture that will really stick to your skin and help your skin absorb it quickly. Some benefits is that it'll help to calm sensitive skin, soothe inflammation, and leave your skin really, really clean. It'll also help to reduce the appearance of your acne as well. So to recap, in situations where your acne cannot be extracted, we recommend using a mugwort pack and then using a mugwort essence to calm and soothe inflammation. Number two, for situations in which your acne can be extracted. It is so, so important to take care of your acne so that you prevent bacteria from causing a second inflammation. When extracting acne, you should be using a proper extracting tool rather than trying to use your fingers to get it out. A proper extracting tool has two rings in which you can extract excess sebum and acne. After extracting your acne, it is important to cool and calm the area where you have extracted it from. We recommend using a sheet mask that has bamboo charcoal powder in it. Bamboo charcoal powder is known to relieve skin and to cool it down as well. You should also try to use a mask that has BHA in it, which is great for pore management. Tea tree oil is great because it alleviates irritated skin and has an anti-inflammatory effect. If it contains other raw materials such as centella, that is awesome as well. Use a mask that has a cooling effect so that it cools your irritated skin. Erythritol is also a great ingredient to use in a sheet mask because it'll really calm your irritated skin and provide that soothing relief that it needs. Number three, you want to use a product that contains centella in it in order to prevent acne scarring. So what you want to be doing at this point is protecting your skin and strengthening its skin barrier. Centella prevents acne scars, promotes collagen synthesis, shortens the time of regeneration, and repairs the skin. Also, it prevents pigmentation before it actually happens. Try to use a centella product that has at least 1% of prescribed centella ingredient. Round three. How do I treat acne scars? Acne scars form as a consequence of improper extraction and improper post-extraction care. You should be using products after you have extracted your acne to prevent secondary inflammation and to prevent pigmentation. So now I'll be showing you guys some products that will help you treat your acne in two different ways. Number one, use a product that'll help your skin regenerate immediately after you have extracted the acne. Use a product that has EGF in it, and EGF means epidermal growth factor. This will help your skin to regenerate itself. EGF helps to promote the turnover of your cell production, and it also helps to strengthen your skin barrier. It also helps to firm up your skin, leaving your skin looking a lot healthier than before. In addition, try to use a product that has guazeline in it, as it'll help to soothe your skin and promote the regeneration of your skin as well. This is also great for irritated skin, as it'll help to soothe soothe the irritation as well. Number two, we recommend using a pure vitamin C product that'll help to reduce the possibility of a second inflammation and pigmentation. Try to use a vitamin C product that has more than 20% pure vitamin C in it, and it has absolutely zero chemical or harmful ingredients in it, making it thoroughly effective and safe to treat your inflammation and pigmentation. These products have little to no stickiness and has quick absorption. It also helps to alleviate the appearance of acne scars, provides nutrients to your skin, and improve your skin tone overall. So without further ado, the winner of today's Wish Trend TV versus Acne is... Ding, ding, ding! Wish Trend TV! I so look forward to seeing your guys' new and healthy skin after you guys have followed all these tips in today's video. And make sure to be on the lookout for our next video, Beauty Hackers DIY Body Care Hacks for Summer. Thank you so much for watching and remember, you are beautiful just as you are. See you guys next time! Bye! I love you guys! Bye! Bye bye!